thought I'd start this video off with uh, talking about fast cat breed rankings. We will start by looking at the AKC website. We're going to go to sports and events, coursing cat and fast cat, fast cat, and we're going to scroll down to top 20 fastest dogs by breed. Here we're going to make our selection. We're going to leave it on the 2022 year. We're going to open the breed drop down menu, scroll down to whip it and get rankings. So here are the rankings for the whippets. In order to get a breed ranking, um, a dog must have ran at least three times. To get your average, they take the three fastest runs that you've done for the entire year and take the average of those three runs. So, so far this year in the 2022 season, Cinder is the number two ranked fast cat whippet with an average miles per hour of 35.11. And why these rankings become important at the end of uh, at the end of the season, which runs through December 31st, is the AKC holds an, a Fast Cat Invitational. To be invited to the Fast Cat Invitational, uh, last year they invited the top three dogs in each breed to the Invitational. Uh, so if that holds true, they continue to do that. Um, We'll want to see Cinder stay in the top three because um, we would love the potential to be able to be invited to the Invitational um, where he goes up against all the other dogs, uh, all the other top three dogs in all the breeds um, and gets to run against them. So that's why um, when we go to events, I like to try to see him beat the fastest times that he's ran this season because uh, if he doesn't run any faster than his fastest three times of the season, it doesn't impact his uh, average miles per hour for the breed rankings. Um, so right now we're looking at Cinder's best time so far this season has been a 5.799 uh, seconds. Um, so we're hoping that he can do something faster than that this weekend so that that has the potential to be figured into his average um, and raise his average miles per hour and hopefully see him jump up into the number one.
the hotel, but we are watching the Dueling Dogs World Championships right now. We just got checked in, dogs got fed. We want to watch and cheer on all our friends that are competing at the Dueling Dogs World Championships. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a couple duelers next year and be there. Cinder, eight, taking a rest. He did, he did, well, he did one good run today. The second, the first run he did, we wondered if maybe he stopped and ate a sandwich in the middle of the course because he ran a 6.0. Uh, but then his second run came back, he had a 5.814, I think. So we had, uh, Emory and I had dinner down in Washington by the river, walked the dogs, and uh, we're just going to stay in the hotel to get a shower and, and watch our friends compete at the Dueling Dogs World Championships. What do we got here? Nine Lake and... Uh, yeah, here we go. Go all of our friends. Yeah. I'm good, whatever. Today's Sunday. We finished up at Purina Farms and got back home today. Uh, we didn't get Cinder's run on a video today, uh, but he did do well. Uh, he ran a he ran 5.858 seconds for 34.92 miles per hour. So he did well today. Uh, what he ran over the weekend won't really help him in the breed rankings any. Um, but he ran, he had fun, he ran safe, um, so we're really happy with that. Um, this event this weekend was really our last Fast Cat for quite a while. Uh, we don't have anything that we're registered for. The next one that we might run in will be in July. Um, so that's kind of um, bringing Fast Cat to a close for us right now. Um, but we're really excited because uh, we've got some fun stuff coming up. This week, um, our local uh, disc club is uh, starting Toss and Fetch, uh, the, the spring season, I think it is. Um, so we are gonna actually do that. Um, Cinder loves disc. We're not really that great at it, um, but he loves to do it. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, getting to hang out with some of our friends that do uh, local disc dog here. Um, along with disc, over the next couple weeks, um, we are going to head to Newcastle, Indiana and do some whippet racing um, in a couple weeks there. Um, Cinder's only done one other event, uh, other meet with whippet racing. Um, so we're hoping to get him certified for oval, um, hoping for him to compete in straight and really looking forward to that because um, we're really pretty new to the, to the whippet racing. Um, that brings us into May and May is when dock diving starts for us. Um, duck diving is our favorite sport. It's the one we spent the most time working on. Um, this will be Cinder's second season of doing duck diving. We're going to start with some NADD um, in uh, the third week of May, I think. Um, and then Memorial Weekend, we're going to go down to Oklahoma and do duck dogs. Um, so we are really looking forward to getting our duck season kicked off. Um, Cinder hasn't been in the water or on the dock since October. Um, so we are definitely looking forward to getting back in the water, um, seeing what he can do here in his second season of dock diving. Um, so we have a few fun things coming up over, over the next uh, month, month and a half, um, as we get into some new seasons and do some stuff other than just Fast Cat. Um, we're really uh, looking forward to getting Cyclone involved in both of those things. So uh, you'll see her as she starts um, her first toss and fetch season and also as we start getting her in the water and getting her ready for uh, dock season and again she's still really young she's only about 10 months old so um, we'll be looking forward to getting that done. Cinder had a good weekend he's really tired as you can see he'll probably sleep the rest of the day 
So uh, we'll see you next time. Can you say bye?